Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So today in this video we will discuss what is statistics. Statistic we define broadly for the two purposes. And that two purposes is obtained by the two types of statistics. The first is statistic is a subject of rules, methods, and techniques of collecting and presenting large amount of numerical information. So statistic provides us rules and methods which we apply to collect our information for research we arrange that information, we transfer that information to a meaningful way. That's we are using some graphical representation so easily we can understand the data. And in second place, statistic is drawing conclusions. That's generally we known by inferences. Because it's not possible that we consider a thought that's of millions or that's a hundred thousands or many thousands we consider for analysis. We need more time, we need more money. So statistic provide this an easy way to consider a small amount of information that sample and from that sample, we draw conclusions using the inferential statistical techniques and we draw inferences and conclusions about the population that large amount of data set and we get more work in less time with less resources. So that's an, a simple example about the statistic that children who brush their teeth with broad X, Y, Z to have fewer countries. That's the Bureau of Census project the population of Pakistan to be 250 million in 2030. That's an estimation in French statistics. Eight out of 10 people in certain country do not have skill. That's a descriptive statistics. This is a um, uh, we are deciding from more data. The prevalence of diabetes is higher in overweight people compared to the normal weight. That's in descriptive statistics. Are uh, we have also used here in French statistics. Now uh, the first is descriptive statistic, which is more important for researchers and the data collection, data organization, data summarization. So descriptive statistic, that's a discipline, many procedures where we summarize and describing some important aspects of numerical data. What descriptive statistic, that's condensation of data. We have a large amount of raw data. We are transferred that data to a meaningful way, to a meaningful way that's a graph, that's a table. So where we can study some important aspects of the data. So descriptive statistics consist of a lot of pro procedures, different procedures which provide this opportunity. So we can arrange the data, we can condense a large amount of data. So in less time, we can study that data. And computation of a few quantities that provide information about central and indicate amount of variability. That's the measures of central tendency. That's the measures of dispersion. So from single value, that's a single value which provide information about the all data set. That's an average, that's a standard deviation, that's an variance. So this is a descriptive statistic. Now in descriptive statistic techniques, uh, we have many of them. That's a frequency distribution, measures of central tendency, averages, mean, arithmetic, 
mean that's median mode the quartile deviation semi interquartile or quartiles the smudges of dispersion its mean deviation variance standard deviation coefficient of variation etc so this is descriptive of statistics uh, statistical techniques we are using in statistics now we are discussing uh, inferential statistics so that's a discipline of techniques which enable researchers to draw conclusions or inferences about large data set that's population known as a term population on the basis of small data set that sample so we consider less information first we check that is this sample is a representative of the population or not if this uh, sample is a representative of the population then we proceed for further analysis so we analyze that sample using inferential statistical techniques we have many for qualitative research for quantitative research that chi square the t test analysis of variance that's anova one way anova two way that's regression logistic regression as we have um, correlation so many techniques we have we apply to a sample but the sample should be representative of population and that's actually that sample is a, a representative of population or not representative representative of the population is also the validity will be provided using the inferential statistical technique now in inferential statistical technique we have mainly two things that's estimation and there's the testing hypothesis that's the confidence interval estimation and that's the testing hypothesis we have another uh, inferential statistical uh, techniques so in estimation we are using a many that's a, we need a confidence interval we check that our uh, value is within a, a confidence interval or it's fall in critical region so from there we can uh, decide to accept or reject or, or which hypothesis and the testing hypothesis uh, is a procedure which uh, enable us uh, that's we should accept or reject which one of hypothesis now further we are so variable that's uh, actually playing a very important role in research because the variable is actually the thing which change by time and changes occur in different things that's characteristic which vary within an individual or an object now many variables and we actually study the variables satisfaction level how you are satisfied that's a qualitative research that's an edge a continuous variable marks is a discrete variable it's a salary color of hair or eye lifestyle education these all are variables we are studying in different research and we are studying to find to discuss the different problems that's the demographic factors behind a problem and we are finding in medical line that's the solutions and we are going to find medicines in chemistries we consider different samples we note the results that's actually uh, the variables uh, which we studied but it's very important to know that uh, uh, the type of variable which type of variable so we can treat them uh, according to the nature of that variable what is the nature of the variable we must treat them according to the nature of that variable this is very important because if we are not dealing any variable according to the nature it will take us to a false uh, results conclusions so now we have here four mainly that's in 
numerical variable, the first two discrete and continuous. And in qualitative, that's a categorical variable. We have nominal and ordinal. Now discrete where the system is terminate, like marks. How many marks you have? 600? 605. That's the system is terminate. No rounding, no points, no intervals. Number of family members, six, seven, six. That's a whole number. So these are the discrete variables where the system is terminate. Exactly we can count. Continuous variable. We have edge. Weight. Height, etc. Look at the edge. We don't know like exactly. Edge is seven years. There must be some months. There have some days. There have some hour. There is some minutes. There will be seconds. There will be many seconds. And it will remain continue. The same situation in weight. You have kilogram. You have gram. You have milligram. You have nanogram. And it will remain continue. That's we study the variable in groups that's a height that's the distance etc nominal variable it's a categorical variable you can't write with a number that's a gender you have to write male or female that's the color of hair brown black brown that's a lot of different hair colors. Now, why it's called nominal? If I write male first or female first, male or second or female or second, doesn't matter. But in ordinal, you have categories, satisfaction level, it's the education level, but there is an order, there is a rank. You can't disturb, you can't change the rank or the natural order. Because it will completely change the meaning and the nature of that variable. This strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. That's a natural uh, level of satisfaction in the human's mind. So you can't change there. Because this will change the meaning totally. So these are the variables. So very important to know the variables and the natures of the variables. We have errors of measurement, that's bias error, personal limitations, and unbiased error, that's measurement. Biased error, uh, that's a human fault. When a human did a mistake, that's intentionally or unintentionally. That's known as a biased error. But with the time, this error will increase. And one in unbiased error, that's a measurement error. You use different statistical techniques, you use different measurements, and there is an error occur in the system. So that's measurement error, that's an unbiased error. That's a, one in the biased error. That's a error which uh, have a personal limitation. That the personal limitation means that the researcher, the observer did a error. That's intentionally or unintentionally. 
collection of data we have two mainly the types where we collect our information for research primary data that's a personal investigation that's a personal interview it's collecting through questionnaire collecting through enumerators you find some you that's in some areas it's not possible so you have to use someone else to go and collect information for you collection through local sources that's in some cases not possible you have to use local sources so this is the primary data which is not uh, passed by any statistical uh, process and that's your first in information your information you collected it and you have to organize it you have to analyze that information secondary data that's internal secondary data and external secondary data internal secondary data that's the data generated within the organization itself such as a salesperson reports sales invoices accounting records these are the actually the internal secondary data which already processed by some statistical techniques and one is external secondary data that's in officially we known as official there's publication of the statistical division ministry of finance that's federal and provincial bureaus of statistic ministry of foods the semi official is also here that's state bank of pakistan that's the railway boards central cotton committee boards of economic inquiry a publication of trade association chamber of commerce etc so this is a, a, a actually in official or semi official departments which uh, collected all for your research data again for your research so that's actually the data which uh, i would consider um, already and processed by the some officials or semi officials and you consider that data for your research thank you very much for watching video uh must like comments uh i will consider your feedback so i can improve uh, the videos for more information this especially for researchers and uh, students or when they need uh, uh, to know about statistics and how to apply uh, the statistic in their research uh, and please subscribe my channel to watch more videos and must like and comments thank you very much assalamu alaikum